Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Berseria. I'm Drunken Dan. Last time we went through a lot of story and watched people die. Isn't that a fun introduction? Yeah, this is a lot darker than um, previous Tales games, but they kind of said that. Which is when they were, like, uh, when it was coming out. Which is really funny, because, like, a lot of times in an RPG series, like, that's been going on for a while, and they uh, are like, oh yeah, we're gonna do our female lead. They're usually, like, this bubbly little thing. And usually starts off a little bit lighter. Nah, bitch, not Tails. Tails like, fuck you. You're gonna be a half-demon lady and gonna watch everyone die. And before this, she was a very happy, you know, kind of lady. Didn't really, didn't really have any big aspirations. Just wanted to be happy with her family. There are weapons in the room ahead. Like, it's kind of fucked up when you really think about it. Velvet didn't want any of this shit, but here we are. Also, I want to say, um, Velvet is probably the best Tails character, well, main character. I really like this character a lot. Um, was it, I, so, like, in Exilia, funny enough, my least favorite party members were Jude and Mila. Not that I didn't like them, but, like, I liked everybody around them more. And that's usually what happened in a lot of these games. But then this game comes out, and Velvet's one of my favorites. In fact, I really like everybody in the party. No one raised You'll meet them all later. I can see that. Take what you need from here. Like, look how, like, even kind of blatant they are with it being gray. They're like, well, oh, everyone's dead. Take your fucking shit. It looks like they kept prisoners' effects in here. Rope. This will be useful. Quite a blade. I know that sword. Storm howl. What is it doing here? Well, it's too big for me. You're not taking it? It's a celebrated masterpiece. And if I can't use it, it's worthless. Yep. I mean, she's got a point. All right. Are you ready then? What's going on here? Well, that was quick. <laughs> I didn't even get to say anything. He died so fast. You Jeez. Didn't even flinch. I already told you. I am his Moloch no longer. Is there a ship waiting? So you already know we're on an island. Yes. I've learned that this is a prison island for violent criminals. And that there are scores of demons locked away here. Demons say lots of things when they don't want you to eat them. The prison has docks at both the front and rear entrances. Our ship is on the back side. Got it. The back docks. They're gonna still talk. So I wanna say something. But I don't wanna interrupt the voice acting. Okay. What I was gonna say is... Damn... Like... She, Christina V did such a good job voicing Velvet. Cause she does all the versions of Velvet. Happy Velvet, little girl Velvet, and this fucking... I just will kill anyone who gets in my way Velvet. She did such a great job with this voice. I mean, all the voice actors in this game are amazing. They're all really good. There isn't really a weak one among them, in my opinion. They all work. Uh, let's just save it for this one. Oh, wait, no, no, I want to make sure I have two saves. I have a lot of saves, as you can see. I'm one of those people, but whenever I'm doing recordings, I like to have multiple saves in case things go tits up while I'm recording. You know, to be safe! But uh, let's continue onwards. Oh. What is this thing? That's a special mass of mana. Think of them as the souls belonging to a family of Malachim. They appeared all over after the advent three years ago. Another after effect of the advent. If you collect enough of them, you might be able to solicit the cooperation of a Malak family. And I'm supposed to take your word for it. I'm not forcing you to do anything. Whether you collect them or not is up to you. I might as well pick them up. 
I'll use every tool at my disposal. Indeed. You'll have to if you want your revenge. <laughs> Such a lust for revenge! Oh, wait, I already did it last time. <laughs> like, man, I, I can't wait till we get to, like, out of the prison. That probably won't be until next episode, depending on how long this takes. But it, it's great how gray this game is. Guards coming. Especially in the beginning. Two of them. This way. Actually, more so in the beginning. Did you? Yeah, whatever. The path around the island is off limits now. They say the ground's weak and could collapse. The path that goes under the watchtower? That's all right. Nobody uses it anyway. True, but it was a nice shortcut to the docks. A shortcut to the docks, under the watchtower. A number of guards have gone missing. It would seem we have intruders on the island. All exorcists break into two groups and converge at the front and rear gates. Understood. No one will get past us. Ha! <laughs> About Stay that. Sharp. The threat could be serious. Yes, sir. sir. This isn't going to be easy. Then we'll need reinforcements of our own. Where are the cells? They should be on this floor. You plan on involving the other prisoners? I'll use any tool I have at my disposal. Uh, okay. So what was I gonna say? Uh, wait, there's gonna be another cutscene thing. I want to tell you stuff about the Pathfinder shit, since, you know, I was talking about it last week. Give you an update on, um, I guess, the more recent session. But, uh, there's gonna be a cutscene when I open this door, I think. Yep. Who in the blazes are you? Room service! Okay, so... So anyway... Um, I, uh, my character got cured of lycanthropy, and the, uh, civilians got cured of the, uh, the, the ghoul fever. Um, the one party member who still got it still has it because the priest didn't have enough charges, but hopefully he'll be able to be cured when we go back to town. Though right now we're in the middle of Foxglove Manor, we're doing the Rise of the Rune Lords. I've done it before, but, uh, I'll mention funny things that happened if I have time during this recording. Hopefully I do. Nah, she's making jokes. Split into two groups and rush the front and rear gates. Break through the gates and you'll have a ship. But aren't they guarded by exorcists? I mean, that pirate Von Eifring's the only one who's ever broken out of here. And he didn't pull it off just by himself. He was hauled out by some old exorcist named Melchior or something. Von Eifring? And Melchior? I won't force you! You want to rot in here, then rot! I'm with you. Anything's better than another day in this rat Let's hole. do it. I'm going home to my family. Me too! Yeah. Let me out, Rogues girl! like us are always I'm up for I'm sick of the slop they feed us. Ceres. Let's start a riot! Let's <laughs> a riot! Attention of the guards. In the meantime, we'll search for that watchtower. 
from there we can follow the outer path down to the docks. So you're leaving them all to their fates? I told you, we'll use any tool I need. Cold, bitch. Cold. Just saying. Okay, so while I walk around... Uh, let's just talk to some NPCs too. Um... Ah, what the... So, we went through Foxglove, and uh, we didn't get to finish it. We are going to go to um, the basement. And um, that's where we kind of ended off. So, we had a couple... Oh, wait, hold on. To escape? Don't underestimate the exorcists. They're all gonna die like dogs. Or goblins. This abbey that's in charge of this place. They're that amazing. Amazing doesn't even begin to cover it. The exorcists of the Abbey join forces with the Kingdom of Midgan. And they've got the whole world in their pocket. They're merciless. They hunt down any human who becomes a demon. Going against them means taking on the whole world. And I bet I know who's at the top. Those who get captured and sent here are the lucky ones. We may be monsters, but at least we have our lives. Sure. Until they get fed to me. Thanks for the info. Even if you manage to escape this place, Thousands of exorcists controlling powerful Malachim will be out there waiting for you. There's nowhere for you to run. Nowhere. I'm not going to run. I'll gladly die. As long as I take Artorius with me. Well, that's pleasant. But anyway, uh, in terms of the haunts, like which ones we got hit by. Um, actually, wait, now I don't want to spoil the haunts if you're going to play Rise of the Rune Lords. Because honestly... Foxglove, like, so this is my second time, I've mentioned like a thousand times, i played Rise of the Ringwood before. It's, it's a, it's a good campaign, but I love Dear the Foxglove man. Not a word of apology? <laughs> huh, what is wrong with you people? There I was, sleeping like a sweet babe, when suddenly, from paradise down to no worse, a grimy prison cell. <laughs> you see why I'm not feeling well. And you are? Hooray, you asked! I'm thrilled to introduce to you the wise sorceress who travels the eleven seas, who scoffs at the might of dragons! None other than the acclaimed, the illustrious, Magikigika Filudin Dodin Nolarun Du! Magilu for short. Magilu? Try saying that three times fast. Ma, like soggy shoe or doggy do, or call me any of those things, and I'll turn you into a froggy stew. <sighs> I suppose you'll never understand. <laughs> People can be so tragically unlearned. But hey, like I care. <laughs> And that's another character. I fucking love the characters in this game. Wait, hold on. I can't believe she snuck up on me. Who is she? This is no ordinary prison. We must be cautious. Trust no one. She said she's a powerful witch. Did she have a Moloch tethered? No, I didn't sense Malachim around her. She's an ordinary human, I think. Then she's an ordinary magician, not a witch. If she tries to trick me again... I'll crush her and be done with it. Hopefully she won't be a party member or anything, right, Velvet? Ho ho ho! Uh, jokes. But, God, I love the cast. I want to talk more about them, but like I said, I don't want to do spoilers. Because the characters develop in this game really nicely. I think this is where I'm supposed to go. I'll find out when I get lost. That's the wrong button. Oh, there's a save point right there. Let me just... I'm just gonna help myself this save point. But, uh... Oh, I'm trying to think. Um... But yeah, the uh, Fox Club Manor is my favorite part of uh, Rise of the Rune Lords. Because it's a spooky house. Spooky house, spooky house, spooky house. I would like to do, uh, like, a campaign or even just a one-shot of going through a spooky house. With, uh, just, like, make up some characters real quick. Of course, I would try to convince at least, like, two people to be members of the Mysteries, Inc. And then, you know, the DM would just scream at me. Or laugh. Just hang on, DM.
More? This one. He's a demon. Get ready. You're not human. Neither of you. <laughs> True enough. I don't really know what to say here because I'm just trying to fight this guy. But yeah, haunted spooky places are always fun to play in like tabletop sort of games. I I'm kind of curious, like, for any of you guys that play them, what kind of like setting or setting their like scenarios do you like? He's strong. Chips in the blades already. Huh. Riddle these exorcist knives. I've got to reclaim Storm Howl. Storm Howl? That sword we found? You found it? Where? Do you have it? Please tell me. It's in a storage room. Down below. Down below? You have my thanks. <laughs> He's an odd demon. If things settle down, we'll miss our window. Hurry. That's totally not another party member or anybody important. What's that? You're rewinding and watching the, uh, the, the little intro thing? Who are you, crazy? Somehow. Could that demon be... What is it? Nothing. That demon swordsman was just strange. He was so full of fury. But when you started talking about that sword, his manner changed completely. Don't think too much about it. He's a demon after all. The prisoners here are all so unusual. Oh, except for you. Forget it. Like I care what a Moloch thinks of me. Yeah, yeah, she's not unusual at all with her giant demon hand that I don't have access to yet. I gotta wait till, uh, probably the end of this fucking recording to get it. No, wait, no, actually, we still got a lot of time. Eh, let's just beat some stuff up. Fighting in this game is fun. It's just kind of a simple, like, beat em up. Out of the game is probably the most simplistic in terms of uh, basic combat, though there is more shit you can do to um, increase your abilities and shit. Right now it's pretty simple because I don't have access to any of my uh, more unique or powerful techniques yet, because I don't even have my demon hand yet. I get that in, I think by the end of this dungeon. You finished here. Let's hurry on. That's another thing that's kind of cool about uh, the current DM. He kind of he will give story power because one of the characters got a story power recently, and story powers are cool. I haven't had one of those before. Like, well, I mean, my characters in general have never had one, but you know what I mean. Uh, that's a lot of dead bodies. The docks locked down. We can't break through. I was hoping to steal stuff. I'm sure everything will go fine when you get to the tower. They won't, like, have a small patch of guards there. Not at all! Like, right here. We've just about quelled this riot. You won't be getting away! That's rude. I worked so hard to form that riot. You know how hard it is to start a riot with a bunch of fucking dumb demons? Really fucking difficult. They sometimes just don't want to listen. And I'll let her deal with that one, because I think she has infinite health. As you can tell, because she can't be controlled, she's not a permanent party member. Now, that's not a first for the franchise to give you control of a character, and then just be like, they're not permanent, aha! Kind of like Alicia in Tales of Zestria. Though, honestly, Alicia's the most boring fucking character in that game. Fight me! The prisoners are doomed. Time is short. We need to get down to the path. Is there anything else in this room? Oh, okay, just that. I thought there was also one of those, uh, Malachim spirits thingies, I think that's what they're called. I probably forgot already. You know, I should look up to see if there's a velvet figure or statue, because I do like the character a lot, and she's got a cool design. Um, honestly, I would like stuff of the entire cast, but, I, but usually Tales games, you get, like, one or two. Maybe a plush toy or a keychain. And like a statue of the main character. What'd you expect? 
The path has collapsed. That rope won't do any good here. Oh, you're using that arm finally. Wait, you're not seriously going to try it, are you? He fell further than this back at the shrine. I see you are truly committed to this. Snake eater. <laughs> You're strong. I would almost think you made an oath. It's a ritual that grants special power if the oath taker abides by certain restrictions. The harsher the restrictions, the greater the power one may command. In a very real sense, an oath is a sort of curse, right? Well, guess what? You're the ones who did this to me. I am aware. That is why I chose you. Ah, fair enough. <laughs> oh, look, a bear ball. Hello, Mr. Bear ball. You want to go play? Yeah, come on, come on. I'll fight you both! Actually, what was their weaknesses? Oh, weakness is fire. Oh, let me get my uh, power right here. There we go! I kind of like the whole concentration thing. Where they kind of got to sit there and concentrate. It just, maybe that's just because it's making me think of, like, fucking tabletop games. I don't know. Oh, yeah, mana isn't a thing in this game. Um... Some of the Tales games had mana, but I think they kind of slowly did away with it. I don't remember the first one where they got rid of mana, but, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're wanting to play a caster character in this game, which you do get them soon, they don't have mana to uh, manage. It's all action points. I think Exilia was like that, too, I think. It's been, it's been a couple this years. This way leads to the main entrance. Oh, oh, oh. If you're here, they'll have found your ship by now. The guards expect us at the rear, not the front. That's fair? Alright, wait, wait, what? Oh, my god. Wasn't sure if I grabbed it or not. Sometimes I'm stupid! We're almost there. That's enough. Oscar, I had no idea an exorcist praetor had been assigned to this island. You surprise me, Ceres. Aiding criminals now, are you? Did Lord Artorius request this? No. I'm acting on my own. A mullet with free will? And yet, I sense someone's strings guiding you. Hold on. A Praetor is far more dangerous than an orderly. I'm all out of subterfuge. And besides, if we can't overpower this one, our end goal was hopeless to begin with. You're a demon, but still a lady, so I'll show you due respect. I am Oscar Dragonia, Praetor of the Abbey of the Holy Midgand Empire. Who might you be? Huh. All right, graceless demon it is then. Rude. Uh, let's take out his Molochs first. Uh, shit, I'm out of- I'm low on action. Good thing this is an easy intro boss fight and not something difficult. I like how you're trying to target me, but you couldn't because I fucked and hit you in the face. Again, it's that whole targeting thing. It does create some nice strategy later in the game where when you have casters of trying to, um... If you're playing the uh, fighter trying to take aggro from them. Oh shit. Hey, look, I'm finally doing damage to this asshole. Hey, look, he's stunned. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm dying. I 
I think he's resistant to some of my attacks. You're I gotta be safe. careful what button I hit. I will have to expend a mullock or two for this. More of your vaunted reason. No! Remember, this is he's one of the good guys. And look what he did to his friend. And by friend I mean tool as he sees him. Yeah, it's almost like some asshole cast something on it. Like you! Time to fight a dragon! <laughs> when your DM wants you to die. Oh. Well, fuck. My wounds are fatal. Please, consume me. I'm not about to. My form is bound by an oath whose price is my life. The time has come to pay. Feeding on my form will grant you strength, the strength to press forward. I ask only that you devour me. Why? A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench, no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. <gasps> this was Lothi's. That is why I cannot abide it. This frozen world. This frozen people. <gasps> I'm just... that stubborn of a woman. <sighs> Hurry. Before my life fades. Do it now. I offer no apology or thanks. I need neither. Our wishes. Are one and the same. <laughs> I treasured those days. When you and I and Arthur were together. Move! If you don't... I'll eat you! Okay, I think this is where I get my claw hand. I think. She absorbed that Mara's power to wield as her own? I've never seen such a demon! Actually, hold on. Am I forgetting how to do it? Uh, break soul... Confirm... Alright, let me, uh... 
also use an item because she's gotten a little beat up. I mean, who else am I going to use it on? There we go! There we go! I can... There we go! Now I'm doing the cool shit. I might have always had it and I forgot. I don't know. Oh yeah, but doing it does cost um, you an action. So you want to try and get some actions before you do it. So I'm going to try and uh, beat on this dragon to get more actions. All right, and dead. Still, it's kind of funny how they threw this at you, like right in the beginning of fucking dragon. Oh well, dragons work differently in this world, so I don't take offense. I can't let a nasty demon like you roam freely now, can I? Velvet. That's my name. You can give Artorius my regards. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's lunchtime. My name is Velvet Crow, and I will devour demon, Moloch, and exorcist alike. I am a monster! I am a Therian! Hey, the Barbarian can't cast Fireball, that's bullshit. Oh, finally some place that might not be a death trap. When we tumbled from the tower, I thought, this is it, Moggy Lou. This is the end. It would have been less risky if you hadn't suddenly appeared and jumped on my back. Oh, hey, it's you. It's thanks to you that Storm Howl is back in my care. Vokorodon gets it. At your service. This blade is my life. I owe you a great debt. One I vow to repay. Yes, yes, she's a peach and a model citizen. Can we get our move on? I think they're just about done massacring the rioters. The docks are just ahead. Give me a hand. I mean, you lost your cohort. You might as well just recruit him. I mean, like, it makes sense. It's like, well, we're all just kind of trying to get out of here. I can just ditch him later. <sighs> Guess the weather's feeling as crummy as I am. Careful. The sea's looking mighty choppy. Are you a sailor? No, but I do know the difference between a sail and a rudder. I'll take what I can get. Do what you can. You're leaving without a proper crew? Very well, then. I certainly owe you this much, at least. Brave words. <laughs> but ten minutes in this storm, and you'll lose all sense of direction. No, we won't. Ships have compasses for a reason. So it's rot in a jail cell, or rot in a fish tummy. Well, guess it's your lucky day, fishies! I'm coming for you, Artorias. Good job crashing it, idiot. Lopey set. I'm stealing your shit. You know, every, uh, 
at least chaotic neutral character needs that fucking uh, morality pet. And the campaign I'm running right now, it's my character for the Blood Rager in our party. For this game, it's a small child that reminds her of her little brother. Man, I can't wait to talk more about and get into, like, the plot twists of the game, because they're pretty good. And they do leave a little bit of foreshadowing that you forget about, or don't think about. It's, it's good. Yep. Sorry. If I had a weapon, I would have helped. I promise. You're wearing one. Oh, nah, I can't use this. Sorry, long story. And the child? The little brat? Scampered off somewhere. You ought to be scampering off yourselves. My debt is not yet repaid. Until it is, I will not leave your side. I can hardly scamper off without knowing from whence I'm scampering. We're lost, stranded, shipwreck survivors, no? <sighs> well, then I expect this might come in handy. A map? Was that left by the child? Looks to me like we're in Northgand. Northgand? Then if we're to reach the capital in Midgand, we've no choice but to patch up our ship. What are your plans once you reach Logris? Something worth breaking out of prison for. <gasps> Jeff! Oh, can't we stand around and chat somewhere nicer? Somewhere with soup to warm the body, tail to warm the heart? There's a city called Helavis nearby. I can't promise there much for conversation, but we'll find food in a ship right there. Well, there's at least that. It's better than nothing. World map with a triangle. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, comb, sorcerer's ring. Okay. Love it. You know that kid? I thought I heard you call him by name. No, I don't know any Malakim. Not anymore. Anymore? Hmm. What? Well, whoever he was, there was something different about him. That's for sure. You can say that again. Using healing arts on a demon without being ordered to. And he stole that compass too. For being an exorcist Moloch, he's a greedy little imp. Well, we <laughs> did help ourselves to a certain map of his, so... Uh, I consider myself an island of virtue in this sea of wickedness. I suppose. <laughs> Come on, it's not funny if you agree with me. You think? So this is how escaped prisoners behave. Good. Fucking good. They're all idiots. I love them. I love this fucking band of morons. Wait, hold on. I'll, I'll hit that in a second. I'm gonna hit all of these. I love them. Your way of speaking is as strange as your appearance. Hey, I'm a witch. I must project a proper age and dignity. I have an image to maintain. Self-improvement in all things, I suppose. So what's the difference between a spellcaster and a witch? There are many, but mainly it's a matter of nuance. It's like the difference between being frugal and being miserly. Ah, so a spellcaster is useful and a witch isn't, is that it? So I guess that makes you a witch right now. You wound me. You're one to talk, Mr. Self-Improvement. Your words cut deeper than these northern winds. <laughs> <laughs> these characters are so fucking good. Uh, this is, this is like, like I said, this is my favorite one. Which is funny because it's like the darker one. It's darker than Exilia, but Exilia is also one I really like. But like I said earlier, I just... Every character in this game is good. Every single one of them. There's not a weak character in the cast. Okay. So, now we gotta get to town. Try to get stuff for the ship. Oh. How can you stand wearing that garb? It doesn't seem humanly possible. They never said I was human. Fair. Time to beat up some monsters so we can get experience. It's a good thing the combat system in this game is a lot of fun. Otherwise, I'd be fucking pissed. I don't know if she's using the same setup I gave her at Endgame, but I doubt it because she wouldn't have access to some of those abilities. Okay, yeah. Come so on, really? you can set up different arts to different buttons, and that'll set up different combos and have a better chance at breaking somebody's guard. Well, time to fight a bear bull. Yeah, I can't. I don't really want to talk too much about. Um, 
the session we had, because, like I said, I really love the haunts of um, Foxglove Manor. And if you're going to play Foxglove Manor, you're going to want to go in blind. I mean, unless you're the kind of person that can play it without using spoilers to your advantage. So, like, like I said, I remember Foxglove pretty vividly. There were a couple haunts we didn't get. In fact, actually, what happened when I rolled with my first group, we kept making our saves against the haunts. So we didn't actually run into too many. Which is kind of funny, but that's what happened. Let's see, what did our weakness is? Oh, sweet. We get that. And now I devour you! Give me your souls! Give me your souls! Give me your souls! He's almost dead. And now he is dead. Really? If you do it right, you can pretty much chain that forever. Don't expect me to do that all the time. If you do, you're a fool! I'm trying to get some... I was trying to get some action points. Maybe I can if I devour and attack. There we go. I got some. And by got some, I mean I just killed a bunch of fucking bugs. Oh, so I gotta keep an eye on time, because also, uh... I'll probably end the episode... I keep saying also. I'll probably end the episode once I get to town. So it'll be a little bit shorter, but there's also a storm so in my nice area. To free again. Able to move these bones around like I want. So, Rokuro, what got you all chained up in that mold hole? Ties to home. It's complicated. Oh, -ho -ho! then are you really sure you ought to be taking on further debts? It's a teaching of House Rangetsu. Pay what you owe. Well, what a civilized family you've got. Were you in for long? Three years, maybe. That's why I know so little about the state of the world. Oh gosh, me too! Art-wielding Malakim! I've never seen such a thing! How much else have I missed? Used to be witches who had a monopoly on charms and hexes. Can you even comprehend what this will do to business? Should I even ask why you were imprisoned? <laughs> Begged for unlicensed witchcraft. It was a tale of betrayal most wicked and foul! <clears throat> Care to hear more? You'll cry. I'll laugh! Emotions will touch the rafters! No, thank you. Fucking... Magi Lu is, like, one of the... I love her. I... Oh, God. I can't even really pick a favorite, because I like them all. I know that sounds... Listen, I'm someone who can pick a favorite pretty easily, but this game, everybody makes me laugh or smile or enjoy them. There isn't a weak character, I I'm sorry. I know it's fucking, you know, kind of a cop-out, but it's true! On, it's all so good! But yeah, um, Foxglove is really good. Uh, after Foxglove, if I'm going by memory, it is... What was it called again? So it's Foxglove, and then I think that's when you go to the major city of Magnamar. Oh, there's a treasure chest right there. I'm gonna go run for that. I'm gonna try and avoid some of these fights. I'm not going to say I'm going to be doing it successfully, but I'm going to try for the sake of time as these two fucking things chase after me. There's a cutscene down there, and I want to get some more um, stuff here. Oh, by the way, you can actually just farm these spirits if you just keep, like, exiting in and out of an area. I'm going to double check up here to see if there's any uh, items that I could pick up. Okay, there's actually one thing right there. Oh, two things, actually. Nice. Okay, cool. Got all this shit I wanted. I would love to keep fighting, but again, like I said, uh, it's take a time. And there's a storm in the area, so I want to make sure I turn this off. In case, you know, anything happens. Because I can hear some thunder in the background. I don't know if it's picking up on the mic. But, you know. Oh no, I'm in so much trouble, so much trouble. Won't somebody please help a kitty out? Meow. Oh look, another weirdo. That thing talks? What if it's a cat demon? Simmer down, big man. She's just a cat. Haven't seen one in a good long while. Cats? Is that different from a regular cat somehow? It's complicated. Cats are a mysterious bunch. Just think of them as a special kind of Moloch. Sort of. That works for me. I understand that they're hard to understand, at least. Hey, I don't suppose you happen to be carrying any cat spirits on you? They look like this! That's just like what I found at Titania. 
perfect. You could say they're kind of like our souls to us. Cat spirits, huh? Sometimes we call them kitten caboodles, too. That's just foolish. Really? <laughs> then how about kitty clumps? Anyway, one night we were having a feast so meowvelous, our souls flew right out of our bodies. That's why I need your help to find the cat spirits and use them to immeowsipate my friends. Immeowsipate? Really? It means to use cat spirits to free cats who are locked away in cats' boxes like these here. Meow. Here you'd say apesipate. This one would be edoxipate. And finally... Fucking puns. I'm free, meow. See? Emeosipate. By that logic, shouldn't it be ecatsipate? Wow, you're way more clever than you look. For real. I guess I totally underestimated you. Please, our cat spirits got scattered fur and wide, and so many sad cats are trapped without them. Seek out the cat spirits and rescue our poor lost brothers and sisters, meow. And why should I? Please, think of the cats. You know, cats have weird and mysterious powers. There's a good chance we might benefit by having them in our debt. We'll make it worth your while, I promise! And, if we snub them, they might put a curse on us. That has been known to happen. Ew. <laughs> if we're doing all this traveling anyway, why not help them on the side? Just remember that it's on the side. Fucking cats. Uh... I, I I know all this is, that's why I'm just cutting. Oh yeah, 10 gallon hat! Okay, hold on. <laughs> hold on, I gotta do this. What button is it? Okay, there it is. Okay, 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 we gotta do this. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. One tarnation! <laughs> There's a new serve around these there parts! Yuck, 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 yuck! I, I hate me too, don't worry about it. Alright. <laughs> We'll, we'll do one cutscene with it on, then we'll take it off, okay? Okay, we, we just gotta do one. Humor me. Humor me. <laughs> Exorcists. Well, that's just inconsiderate. <laughs> Word of the prison break couldn't have traveled so quickly. I somehow doubt they'll just let us in looking the way we do. I... I apologize about earlier. I didn't mean to steal this. The compass. You okay with this? He could be working for the exorcists. I'm following him. Hmm. Is he your dessert? If necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, uh, let's get rid of the hat now. <laughs> I might put weird things on Magi Lu when she's in the party. Oh, dare I just spoiled it, didn't I? All right, just remove that. Uh, other things do I have? I mean, if I wanted to wear that, but... I mean, this is kind of like... Her kind of iconic... I could, it's kind of funny. I could just dress her up like a villager if I wanted to. It would just look really dumb. With her being, like, you know, all serious. But, uh, yo, once we get into the city, I'll, uh, end the episode. So it's actually gonna end up being an hour anyway. I was like, oh, it's gonna be shorter! And then I forgot about all the cutscenes. It's okay, though, the cutscenes in this game are great. I can provide more commentary once we get into the f fucking meat of the game, I guess. It's been about a year since I played this. Is that what that is? I thought it was a... I thought it was a crab. But, uh... Yeah, once we get into the meat of the game, I can talk more about it, and... Um, I guess just ramble on about nonsense. I don't want to talk too much about pa the uh, Pathfinder section I had, because again, the, the haunts are really good. But, but yeah, I don't know. Unless you guys, like, in the comments say, like, tell us about the haunts, then I, then I will. A storehouse? <laughs> that smell. Flamestone. Flamestone? known as Melchionite, a rare mineral only found in Northgand. 
Mix it with sulfur, and you get explosives! Mix it with oil, and you get fuel. Sounds dangerous. If it's true. Believe me or not, it's your call. Looks like the boy got away. Well, we're in the city now. Well, then let's scout for the Maritime Guild. Whoever's in charge of all these storehouses must have their hands in the shipping trade and shipbuilding. And we could use a true sailor, if we can find one. Now that's a plan I endorse! We dodged the sea's murderous grasp this time, but who's to say our luck will hold? We should look for some weapons, too, if I'm to be any use in a fight. You're still wearing one. Nope, not an option. Don't you love it when your character has a fucking weapon, but they won't do it? They just won't fucking use it? Don't you just love that? This guy's a dick. Actually, yeah, once we get to town, I'm gonna buy shit at the shop. And that's after that's when I think I'll stop. So we might be a little bit less over. We, we, oh, we'll probably get an hour. All right, let's see. Uh, children to talk to. I'm gonna be an exorcist. Me too. I want to protect my mommy and daddy. Hold up. Exorcists are warriors who protect the whole world from demons. You can't just protect your parents. You've got to protect everyone. Oh, that sounds really hard. <laughs> it is. And it's precisely because the exorcists are working so hard that we look up to them. Yeah! Exorcists are the best! <laughs> They're treated like heroes. I suppose to normal people, they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it makes sense. There are beasts beyond that pack of hyenas. Special cage. Pirates. Bleh! Okay, let's just get into the town proper. Don't mind me! I'm not a demon! Ignore my massive evil hand. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try and slip okay, that's that's gonna trick. There's a group of sailors. Is that the guild? Oh hey, that weapon shop looks promising. Good luck with the shipwright search. Boys, poor creatures just can't be separated from their favorite toys, can they? It's true. Oof. Way to cut deep there, Mogilu. And you know what? Yeah, let's just go to the shop. Oh, wait. Uh, fuck. Is this a shipping guild? Damn that dial! What does he think he's doing by trying to resist? We wouldn't be in this mess if he were dead. Excuse me. I need a ship repaired. Sorry, but we can't help. What makes you say that? Guild business is currently suspended. By the order of Exorcist Teresa of the Abbey. Lady Teresa. Number two, did I give you permission to speak? <sighs> Lady Teresa, how long must this punishment of ours last? You know it was all Dial's fault, don't you, my lady? I know Dial was the one smuggling Flamestone, but your guild, through its negligence, shares responsibility. This rule was set down by the Abbey to maintain... Ah, good. Fascist. My favorite. Do you disagree with it? No, my lady. Or imperialism. But isn't that kind of the same? Or very similar? Either way, fuck both. ...and sentence Dial. When this has been accomplished, you will be free to continue business. So basically, when you stop being stupid and actually catch the guy... And you, girl. Aren't you cold dressed like that? I've just arrived from the south. I wasn't aware Northgown was so cold. That's... A young woman ought to keep herself warm. Thank you for your concern. So this is how the Abbey flexes its muscle, hmm? Cool, cool world these days. I see how things stand. If I catch this dial person, you can repair my ship, right? Sure, but I warn you, he's a demon. 
He escaped after killing a bunch of soldiers who tried to capture him. Can't be done without an exorcist. He's from a small village outside the city. If you're doing this, I'd imagine that's a good place to start searching. He's a brute with the head of a lizard. I'd prepare for bloodshed. Hey! Anything could happen. It's best to keep our options open. While you wait, find us a good navigator. Well, uh, let's go. Huh? Let's check in on him at the weapon shop. All right, let's go check on him. Then I'm gonna buy some shit and then the episode. Yeah, it's gonna be an hour. <laughs> Can I? Damn it. Oh, I could just ignore him and talk to the weapons dealer. It's kind of funny. Uh, buy. Let's see. How much money do I have? A good bit. A good bit. Uh, don't really want to buy those right this second. Buy one of those, maybe. Uh, Amber Blade, Blood, Blood Blade, uh, prices aren't bad. Uh, one of these, okay, what, what all, these up a lot of my stats, actually, either one of these. Uh, let's go with this one. The bell. She's not really a mage character, so I don't really gotta worry about that too much. Let's increase her defense. And critical chance. There we go. And let me equip this shit. Um, blood blade. Okay, that's just the generic blade. Okay, so that wasn't like a special blade that I got in the game. Okay, cool. I wasn't sure. Let's increase that. There we go. Uh, void ring would increase her damage and lower her. Okay, so one's healing, one's magic. That's. Eh, Decrease that for attack. And there's the boots. Let's go with that one. Okay, let's talk to him and get this cutscene done, and then we'll end the episode. Found a real good one. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. My thanks. So you'll help us out. Of course. How did your errand fare? I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun, you kids! You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. My pellet has standards. High standards. All the more reason to skedaddle! <laughs> I don't know who got told there. Somebody did. I feel like we all got lost a little bit on the inside. Alright, let's do a quick save and we're gonna end this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying Tales of Berseria. Um, I'm going to look forward to this. Oh, while I'm here, real quick before I end it, I think I will do all the, um,. Endgame stuff after you... Like, this is like at that point where a bunch of the world opens up and you can do a bunch of side stuff. I think I might do all of it. Because I like this game enough and I've never really completed that on my own. Anywho guys, hope you enjoyed it and have a good day.